Log Talk Radio. And hello, welcome to Malignos Ritual Workshop, online radio, blog talk radio. I'm your host, Chris Black, and welcome. We're back. Another episode. I have to say, you know, um, I'm pretty glad that the show's been kind of consistent lately. Well, you know, yeah, well, you know, whatever. Uh, Sometimes, you know, I don't feel like talking coming on. What do I got to say, you know? I've said it. I've said it. But I say it again, and it's okay. It's just find different currents to grab onto that people will at least try to enjoy, you know? So today is a special day. My uh, buddy, Akasha, is back, you know? Going to call in. Don't, don't get excited, okay? I like when Akasha gets on. Because you know why? She prevents me from uh, uh, doing the scattered thing where I start talking about something and I start talking about something else and something else and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm going to try to prevent that today on the show. Um, so, you know, I was talking with Kasha lately a lot about, um, uh, you know, a lot of the energy shifting that's going on. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, it's crazy, you know? It even it goes past even what the energy that you read for yourself, you know? So it's like, wait a minute. This wasn't in my chart. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, what the hell's going on here? But sometimes it is, you know, and sometimes you don't pay attention. But that's not even it. It's just, um, you know, I kind of uh, titled that because of something magically personal that I saw inside. You know, sometimes... You know, the, I think about it, you know, uh, magic, whatever, you know, sciences, all, all this stuff, you know, religion. If you think about it, technically, it's not supposed to work for us. It's supposed to help them work for them. <laughs> um, it's supposed to work, work against us. So this whole thing, like, you know, it helps. It helps this, uh, you know, the zodiac and learning astrology and stuff like that. But you got to understand something. It's like, not that it's a trap, but it's just, you know, there comes a point where you you're not like it's not like this game show. And you're like, yay, it's serious shit, you know. And it's, um, um, you gotta, you know, after eventually your mind has to be able to break free from it. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the whole idea of being free-minded. And, um, you know, I hate to uh, bring up the fact that it's uh, something you learn beyond religion. You know, I think, I have to be honest, I think it 
uh, are pretty short. It is a uh, Vedic teaching, and that is to be so free that you're not even part of any religion or anything. You're just free. And I think that uh, even other religions might teach that, like maybe the Taoist religion or maybe the uh, whatever. But anyway, anyway, aside from that, um, you know, it's been crazy. It's been, it's been, it's been pretty nuts. The energy has just been kind of like shifting around. A lot of people are like, you know, and nobody wants to even say the R word, you know. But, you know, when I say, again, when I say grabbing a magical hold of the cosmos, that's what, you know, what, what comes to mind is the surfing, surfing of, you know, um, everything in life, you know what I mean? Um, I swear, you know, it have to, it's, it's not easy because a lot of people could go through certain things where, and it's so weird how money like really affects a person's life sometimes in the, even in a, in a negative way. But um, what, I'm, what I was going to say was that there was times where I was really well off with money and there was times where I wasn't. And in the times where I was, um, you saw really it was only about the swiftness of change or the swiftness of recovery or the swiftness of something and that's what money is, you know what I mean? And um, when I had went through life, hard life, and, and I hadn't had money and I had a situation in my life, um, I would say that certain things happened and things turned around and they were like miraculously happening. And I'm wondering how it happened, you know? And sometimes you don't realize that, you know, and this is like way back I did before I even... Uh, thought about, you know, studying this stuff, you know, I, I was a, you know, when I was a Christian, I wouldn't even think about it. Anyway, my my point is that, you know, sometimes um, being down and out uh, teaches you a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Obviously, obviously, but that's not really the point that I'm trying to make. I'm saying that, that you know, um, and, and and I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe you see more, maybe you, and I don't want to say those things either, because that's like, you know, uh, trying to create some kind of uh, thing, and that's not really so. I'm just saying these are the possibilities. But um, I, uh, I look at this whole entire thing with the retrograde and Every fucking year, every time this thing happens, always like, you know, absolutely indignant over it, like, you know, against it. And it was many times also where when it said it was retrograde, and I hate to say many times, but it was like maybe three times, three years in a row where it hit me really bad and something really bad happened, like, like I lost my place of living or... And it's weird. It's so strange how it happens. And this, this is why I say, that for this reason, it might sound discouraging to the people that are coming in. If you're new and you're trying to study this stuff and you're listening, you're, you're like, oh, you know, uh, I want to learn about this or beginner or whatever. And, you know, that bothers you. Just, you know, I'm just saying, you know, eventually you have to take yourself away from this, you know, because it's like, you know, you might be indifferent to yourself around people that are more free, but, you know, this thing, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just very strange. And um, it's just not healthy, really. You know what I mean? And after a while, it's, you know, you just let it go. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to keep going on about it, but the reason why, I, why I'm saying that is how could you grab a hold of everything? You know, how, how could you ha- grab a hold of your whole entire life if you're so busy concentrating on trying to make this one thing perfect in your life, and that's like a religion? And believe me, oh, man, you know, this is not against any religion at all. This is just saying for those that are already, you know, or whatever, those that are, let's see it. It, it might not even be a level of 
uprising. You you maybe have had the opportunity to be shown shown this clearly, or or maybe you saw it clearly for yourself. You know, at a young age. You know, I know a lot of people like that. Um, I've always seen it like that, but I was threatened as a young child to, you know, um, stifle. And it was like crazy because, you know, that's how they they are. That's how, you know, that religion is, you know what I mean? But the point is that um, I'm just, you know, just glad to be able to uh, come back on the radio again. And we got a call. Hold on. Hello? Hiya. Hey, what's up, Akasha? Uh, not much. What are you doing? What's going on? Uh, uh, I was just on show mode. Trying to recuperate from uh, the stress. Hey, I think it's drainage. Oh, yeah, yeah. But feeling you know, better. Feeling uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, better so You'll now. be all right. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm actually starting to feel a little bit improvement right now. So I was like, oh, my um, God. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. Well, that's horrible. I was... Um, I, I was just t- I was telling everybody that um you know everybody's going through all these things and mm-hmm. everybody is you know also um you know there's people that are obviously different levels in life and stuff like that but in the thought of you know uh, life itself you know uh, in a sim- in trying to make it simplistic way you know of uh, just you know being able to not just survive but but the thing is like it, you know technically I don't want to say that we're talking about retrograde because I don't want to make it about that but because it's happening you know people some people are affected by it. I think it's a little more than a retrograde though it's like some kind of oh. energy I think it's right it's, and it's more than a retrograde right. it's it's okay. something more intense right it's, I like you can't pinpoint it. I guess I'll have to look into it. Something's no, going no, no, on. But, but tell me, how do you like, like, what? How do you feel? Like, why do you say these things? Like what I just said, or like yeah, like why do you say? Like, what's happening in your life? Is it is it your life? Is it around you? What's happening that you see that's making you say that? Oh yeah, you're you're agreeing with this time that's really, uh, uh you know, like the retrograde and all that. Like something right. in the in the atmosphere going on, right? I don't think it's just that though either. Because you know, in more realistic terms, you know, sometimes people it's choices. You know, cause, I mean, I'm pretty observant. You know, lately I don't. You know, I just kind of stay behind the scenes and just kind of watch. You know, I, you know, because it kind of helps me build the ability to read people. You know, so like I've just noticed. You know, yeah, everybody's going through something. Like kaboom, it's we're not the only ones. Trust me. Like people in my close range are kind of going through the similar things that I'm going through. You know, right. and it's really weird. And I'm thinking there's got to be some kind of energy or force that's causing it because it's like it's happening everywhere. It's like a plague, a bubonic plague. It's like some virus is spreading. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I know, like a big yeah. epidemic. You know, but yeah, however, here's the messed up part. It's it's not an epidemic. That's how we're – It's because it's how it's making us feel. You know, like this – it's like – this energy, it, in my years, I always feel energy. I feel it any, I mean, I'll even read it, just study it. If I'm fascinated, ooh, what kind of energy is this? You know, it's got big in a rose. And I don't know, but in my years, I've never felt something like this. It's very intense. I don't think it's, mm. I mean, it could possibly be astrologically connected, but I think it's more than that, way more. I, I, I always think, like, like, Matrix is true. You know what I mean? In certain degrees, I think it is. Uh, uh, and, but that's know, what I'm saying, though. If we if we could just imagine, look, when I was a little kid, I had a nightmare. Mm-hmm. And I'll never forget this nightmare. It's not not anything gory or monstrous. It's just weird. And uh, right. I had a dream that there was these like old school telephone poles dug into the middle of the ground of the of the road, and nobody could really drive their car anymore without special, uh, you know, permission. Huh. And oh, was wow. huge, gigantic fucking mats. And when you were looking at it from the outside in, you know what one of those blow-up things look like where kids jump? And you, you kick yeah, their yeah, yeah. And jump inside. Those things are fun. <laughs> it, was, it was white, but it was dirty. 
And that's what it kind of oh. looked like, but it wasn't something to play on because what the, what it was, you saw, like, all these people go up. So one day, right, it was uh-huh. really huge, and it was really low to the ground. And this oh, wow. one spot in the city, and if I was in New York, but I was a little kid. Uh-huh. And so I looked up, and I saw a ladder. And I had a fucking a, a brown paper bag with a, a sandwich, and I went up, and I was like, I was really scared. I just wanted to see what was up there. And this uh-huh. one fucking soldier, he was like kind of sleepy, woke up, he was, hey, he was, you're not supposed to be up here, man. Get down, you're going to get hurt. And I was like, oh, I, I I came to bring you this. Like, I came to bring anybody that wants the tongue. He goes, oh, really? He's like, can you get me food all the time? I was like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking... I came down you call the this ladder. a nightmare? <laughs> well, see, the Sounds thing like is a that comedy. The day, well, the day before, uh, or the the day, the morning, I, I was a little kid, and my father told me, he said, he said something like, it's like there's a mat in the air, and they're hitting us with all these sicknesses and diseases. Yeah, and I, like and I just mentioned earlier. ago a long time. Oh, wow. You just had a prophetic you know, so, dream, dude. Well, this is what I'm saying. Like, so these little things, like, you know, this is why I say earlier when, before you called, I was talking about that there has to be a point in in, in, in your life, like, you know, and, and my, my point was after studying magic, after studying, looking at all these religions, looking at everything, you know, comparing the science, looking at what's, what's around, looking at the truth, living it, experiencing. Like you even said, even a time in your life where you're chilling, you're just observing. So you could see. Oh, yeah. You should really observe and everything. Even, that, a, even a thing of a leaf, it all, everything has energy. Everything. Even right. a leaf. And that's why a, I said a, a has to be a, Right, and there has to be a, a, a point where you come away from the cabal, the the whole entire thing about, you know, astrology and it, because what what happens is you get caught up in the thing and you're like, oh, this is happening, you know, and, you know, it's like, if I I remembered, yeah, I definitely do not want to ever go back to living regular life without knowing that I can do these things now, like that most, that I thought, oh, this is not human, not humanly possible, right? Because, if I was a kid and I was a Christian and a kid and a guy like me came up to me and, and fucking removed pain from my body in seconds and, and told me something that holy shit that nobody knew, I would be so fucking scared. I would start screaming out like, you're a devil. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah! <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's kind of funny. Like, I think in a way these days that's reversed. Honestly, I think, you know, I think the Christians are kind of portraying this. As actually, I think really, I feel honestly, Satan's a good guy. Really, they blew they totally blew, blew, they blew everything think, out of proportion. It's not everybody is so this? scared, but it's not what you think it is. Right, right. Basically, oh, humanism. You know what's That's crazy what it boils down to. I knew humanism. that there was something weird about what I believed in when I was a kid. Um, I had another. I used to have all these dreams, right? And um, I had a dream when my uncle died and Mm -hmm. my uncle died um i was so excited to tell my dream to my aunt even though she was a a fucking asshole um (laughs) and yeah um, and i said oh i saw uncle in a dream he had a blue uh, or not he had a a certain color Uh you know uh he had a certain color suit on. I said, I think it was brown. Mm-hmm. He he had a flower. He goes, please, I want to talk to you. This you got to listen to me. He said, nothing is like what the Bible says it is. It's not the truth. He says it's totally different. He's he right. Goes, oh, this he's, is really. He's like, I'm I in a that really way bad when I world right too, now. Chris. I exactly yeah, felt and, the and same way as a child. I knew it wasn't right. This, Something was off. Yeah, it was. and that's why I, I, I was a like, kid, Chris. As a child, I was like, man, th- th- there's no way. This, this can't Actually, be right. I'm... I was down south about maybe eight years ago, or yeah, maybe eight years ago when it hit me. Yeah. And that's when I was like, wait a minute. 
this is not true. This is all a lie. Oh my god, that shit hit me so ah. hard. I was not really. But I was a, the at the time. Is, I don't want to say I was a real hardcore Christian, but I was at least still believing. Like, no man, this has mm-hmm. to be true. That's why when I started studying magic, I used to get offended by some of the things. I, I was like, this is impossible. What? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you read the Dan Brown series, right? Like the Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, uh, the Lost, the Lost Symbol. I mean, that's it. No, I never read Those it. Those are but awesome I, I books, like Chris. They are awesome yeah. books for fiction. I mean, it's historical fiction, but twenty percent of it's fiction, but the rest of it is actual fact. My you know what they stuff. say that the Nazis oh, created stuff. Israel. You know that, right? You think that's Which, true? I, well, who, what? Who created Israel? Huh? I missed that. You said something about who created Israel. I don't, you asked me if it was true. I just. I said, do you think part. it's true that they say that the Nazis created Israel? Could be possible, Chris. It could be. I wouldn't doubt because it. You know what that means, I'm though, serious. right? You know what that means. Well, it's, it's, I it's, think it's, I have an idea. It's perfect about, I mean, it show, goes to show you how how perfectly, you know, like what people are waking up to is not uh, false. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Go to the Washington Monument. Go to the Lorve Museum in France. People see the truth every day, Chris. I mean, it, I felt so stupid because it, when you read these books, I mean, you're like, oh, wow. Because the Washington Monument, if you were in a helicopter, Look in the sky and and really pay attention to the symbol. Because you know the symbol with the circle with the dot in the middle? Of course you know what that means. You know, God, oh, yeah, yeah. God the Almighty. If you, like, go in a helicopter, look at the Washington Monument. You're going to see that symbol. It was built. And then, like, I think there's a certain part, like, at nighttime, you see they close it. So you can't really get, get access. But, like, it glares and the light that glares. But in the sky, there's, like, this message. I think it's in French or something. And it was something about God. I can't really exactly remember. Awesome books, Chris. I mean, the best stuff I ever read. The, the only thing yeah. that was fictional I mean, was characters it, and everything else. Oh, wow. In, it's, there's a lot of stories. You know, there's a lot of stories like that. Um, the Lord of Angels and, was about the Holy Grail. You know, it, basically all right. that was was a trail. You know, basically the Lord of Angels was kind of on that trail, but somehow... You know, like the bones. Or, I, I didn't read. It wasn't anything like that. But I mean, basically, the truth was told. And I was like, right. I knew it. You know, I was like, see, you know, you know, like five or six years. Chris, I was never fond of going to church. I hated it. I never felt like I fit in. I just didn't agree. I mean, I, I'm down with it all. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't for me because, like, no, I just can't. I, I can't believe in something that's not true. You know what I mean? There's got to be yeah. something. You know, I said something was. I off. felt like that as a kid. But then when I, I became an adult, I really tried. Like, I, I was, like, um, even, like, part of the music. And 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 all I got was, like, people. People just got, like, the worst attitude from people. And I was just, after a while, I was like, you know what? F this, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. You know? Yeah, right. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I didn't mean I, to get off the subject, but I wanted just yeah, to let you fine. know. Like, it, it, this is cool, but... But the whole idea was that, you know, um, about um, this, it comes to mind this this Taoist saying, and I and I say this so many times, um, like to absorb everything. Right. Like everything's happening, and it's like because what happens is when you absorb it, it's as if it's as if your energy or alchemy, your inside alchemic Mm -hmm. structure begins to inflate or begins to grow, increase in some way that it increases you. And so what happens is, uh, or the truth is maybe it's just an experience of a thought that is so strong. You know what I mean? Right, right. And and the whole idea is that when these things are happening, all this stuff is happening, like – I am, like, no longer, um, like, I still might talk about it or say things or show these little signs or even post the ephemeris because it's it's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I betcha. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I I, I try to understand that we are, like, just our being is just different now. Like, we're just different. 
You know what I mean? Because well, even when I first you know, came but see, in, here's I gotta, the, yeah, but there's people out there, Chris, that's just not ready to handle the truth. Oh, I, I not. know, but that's, you know what? That's here's so the sad. thing, though. In this day and age, you cannot not say that. You have to no. say it. You have to. Yeah. It's, it's you horrible. Spread it's that like word. A, uh, spread the it's truth. Like a, a, that's the real like gospel. A, like, what? I said, yeah. I, just, I didn't you know, say what you know, you know, yeah, like, you know, spread the truth, you know, yell the gospel. Oh, oh you know, right, right. You know, well, I mean, I don't mean truth. to be, the thing is that I don't even want to be that way either. I don't want to be proselytizing. Well, no, you don't because you be don't want to take away like, that right of others. You must listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Messiah and you must listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, put that on a PDA straight. Oh, my yeah, God. And I'm, I not go, to, I'm not trying to be <laughs> like that. No, you know? no, and I'm the same way, Chris, because you can't take away somebody, if it's making them feel comfortable, but that's the beauty of it. You could, you could be a worship any religion you want to, but it's still yeah, all, and that's you know, what, all boils down um, to I mean, that hey, one you know answer. What? I guess that's why uh, Blog Talk only gives us 30 minutes for free. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Dang it. Blog! You don't want God, but I'm glad like that I, you I came got... on, Akasha. I'm glad that um, uh, we got to talk. And I, I definitely, uh, I really want to do another show. Uh, oh, because yeah, I wanna, be I love the that. whole idea was to talk about how we are going along in life. You know, some of us right. are manifesting. Like a huge some things are shift. not manifesting as fast right. as other things are manifesting, you know? Yep, exactly. And people are getting so, impatient, too, because I can sense that impatience. I'm one of them. I'm a guilty one of that. But I, I feel it all me around me. It's like, yeah. Because everybody, it, you know, the thing you got to think about this, though, and I kind of, you know, was soul searching. I've done this for a while. Sometimes the choices we make get us in these situations, too. You know, but sometimes <laughs> the consequences like or what we're going through, that's not our fault. You know what I'm saying? It's all because of that choice. Right. You know, it, right. You know, if I would know now what I know then, Chris, I, I would have probably done everything a whole lot different. Everything would have I been different if I would have known. Um, shoved that guy in the hotel um, a year huh. ago and yeah. then not oh, wow. been what? made homeless. Oh, definitely. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. At least, I mean, I can admit that, though, you know? Yeah, and I'm proud of that as far as that anger goes. I, I've been really, really good at be- being able to maintain that. But sometimes, you know, it's like a steam, you know, like a, those whistling tea kettles. I just... Well, I mean, first of all, whistling. look at everything that's going on all around us. The other day, I, I saw mm-hmm. uh, this uh, undocumented company, they call it undocumented, and it shows this man, he was an ICE police officer, grab a woman, and the whole fucking family started sobbing, crying, no, please... How could you have the fucking heart to do that to somebody? Oh, people are terrible. It, they're horrible. I mean, you know, with my experiences and stuff, you know, I've been parts around the country, and it's all the same thing. It's no different. There are, I, I just can't, there are horrible people out there. It, I, I mean, it astonishes me. And it's like, gosh, these people have no soul. But it's true. I don't think they do. No conscience. It's crazy, just, man. No this yeah. is what I'm talking yeah, it's like, about. It's like know? taking it's a like, ball bat and whacking somebody in the head, you know, and just walking away like, do 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 I'm like, well, seriously? I mean, this is what That's people crazy. don't understand is that you're looking at all this stuff, you're seeing everything, you're getting tired of it, and you're snapping, and people are like, what's wrong? Why are you so upset? <laughs> what do you mean? Right, or you're like, you're, you know, like you're the bad guy. Like, you know, every yeah. time you try to say something, it, you're the selfish one. Oh, it's always about the <laughs> you know. No, well, in a case, yes, it is, because you know, uh, in a way, you know, when you're upset about something, yes, it is about you because they offended you. You know what I mean? Well, sure, it's about me, <laughs> you know? You know, <laughs> let's be technical here. Well, of course it's about me. You're done. You know, yeah. Blah, 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 you know? Right, right. Come on. Well, but sometimes, big, you know, there's big shout out oh, to yeah, everybody out there in the Internet. And um, uh, really grateful that Akasha could come back. Uh, definitely got to do more yeah. shows. You know what? You have to do the show with me because from now on, it'll be boring <laughs> with me. So. <laughs> well, I appreciate uh, it, man. I'd be on. happy to. And we'll definitely be back tomorrow, hopefully, or next week. 
All righty. Hey, peace, out. peace, guys. Many blessings. Be safe. Be cool.